all through chapter three, you'll see over and over his arguments really do fit the idea that he's talking about two covenants. And he mentions the term two covenants in chapter four, verse 20 or 21. One proof he gives is that um, it was prophesied that through Abraham, the world would be blessed. But the law, the first covenant, pronounces a curse. But Christ is a blessing. So if it was prophesied that Abraham, through Abraham, there would be a blessing and the law doesn't bring a blessing, but brings a curse. But Christ brought a blessing. Which of those two covenants do you think fulfills the promise given to Abraham? Christianity and not Judaism. And when you look at it that way also, it's not likely that you would be combining a covenant which professes a curse and one which professes a blessing. So I think that's one of the proofs he was putting forward. I think the one before that, uh, well, the one at the start of the chapter, in chapter 3, verses, say, 1 to 3, or maybe 1 to 5, um, he's saying that you Galatians went from being non-Jews and non-Christians to being Christians through faith. You had faith in Christ. And you saw all these spiritual things. He mentions like miracles through the Spirit. And that was before your later works of the law. And he's, he's calling them foolish, saying, who has bewitched you? Who has bewitched you to make you not understand that you were saved under the covenant where you had spiritual uh, miracles happening? If you had that before later converting to the first covenant, Judaism, why would you believe that you needed that covenant which you later converted to to be saved when you already had all those spiritual miracles happening prior to that? And so there's a range of other arguments he puts forward, um, chapter 3 and um, also chapter 4. And like I mentioned in that PDF I've got prepared for Romans, man, he's just nailing that point over and over and over and over. And when you see these arguments that he's putting forward, you see that when the faith alone Christians use these passages to teach their doctrine, man, they are on another planet. Romans is so far from being about whether it's by faith alone or faith with repentance of sin. Yeah, it's once you see what it's about, you will see that it's clearly not about whether it's by faith alone or not.